Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make super simple three ingredient smoothies for the summer. Back when I worked in a elementary school, I actually taste tested all three of these smoothie recipes with elementary age kids and they love them. So if you have kids, these are some really great ideas, especially for picky eaters. I made these super simple so that you don't need a lot of materials for them. These are just some suggestions. I know sometimes it's kind of hard to make smoothies without a recipe. I know it took me a long time to get used to just making smoothies on the fly. So hopefully these will give you some ideas. If you'd like to know how to make these beautiful smoothies, then keep on watching. All right, smoothie number one is strawberries, yogurt, and orange juice. I'm using something called kefir. It's basically a liquid yogurt drink. It's great for smoothies. Mine is unsweetened because this is already gonna be sweet enough. I just did a little splash. I'm not really measuring anything. The orange juice is unsweetened and I just filled it up until the strawberries are covered. There's smoothie number one, strawberry and yogurt. Don't forget your reusable straw, otherwise you hate the environment. The next one is mango, kale, and then orange juice. I use orange juice in all three of these. For the kale, I used lacinato or dino kale. It looks a lot different than the curly green kale. And then again, I just put enough orange juice to cover the frozen fruit. I love the color of this one. This is a really great way to get your greens in for the day. And that is the mango kale smoothie. The last one is pineapple, coconut milk. I'm using full fat coconut milk for this. I used about a third of the can of coconut milk. It, again, I didn't really measure it. I just did about one third of the can, put the rest in my fridge for something else, and then just covered the frozen fruit with orange juice. And this is the last smoothie. It's a pina colada flavored smoothie. It's super delicious. Very nice for the summer. All right, so now I'm gonna try each smoothie. Here is the strawberry one. Ooh, this one's really good. I make this one in the morning a lot, and sometimes I'll add like tofu to it to give it extra creaminess. This is a super great breakfast smoothie. Yeah, if you're not a fan of yogurt, Definitely swap it out for like almond milk or something else. This has a very strong yogurt flavor. Super bright green. It has like the prettiest color. I was really surprised when I taste tested this with kids, like second graders, and they loved it. And I was super surprised because like you don't expect kids to like something this color, but they loved it. Of course, there's the mango, the orange juice. It makes it really sweet and a little bit sour, but you still taste the kale. The dino kale or the lacinato kale that I used is a little less bitter than the curly kale that you find in the stores a lot. So try to find either the dino kale or like a red variety of kale. Those are less bitter. This is a great way to get your greens in. This one's my favorite. It reminds me of Dole Whip from Disneyland. But yeah, the coconut flavor is pretty strong. Sneak some Malibu rum in this. You're set for the summer. You could definitely use light coconut milk or light coconut milk in a carton, but it won't be as, um, it won't be as thick and creamy as this one. This makes me want to go sit on a beach right now. Like I'm 
I really want to go to the beach <laughs> and bring some of this in a big pitcher. Yeah, let me know if you try any of these recipes. Comment down below or tag me on Instagram. By the way, my Instagram is Elise's Beast, one word. I'll link it down below. I'll also have all the measurements for each smoothie down below so you can try them at home. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see new vegan recipes every single week. Bye.